All right. Well, it says we're live. So good evening, everyone. It is March the 31st, 2024, 7 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Sunday. So East Eastern Sunday. <laughs> I said 7 p.m. Eastern, didn't I? Easter Sunday. So for those of you that are celebrating Easter, uh, happy Easter. And for those of you that are not, sure. hey, thanks for spending your Sunday afternoon with us. So y'all, it's been it's been a crazy few days. I'm sitting here exhausted. Uh, <laughs> company traveling yeah. traveling some more easter celebrations gender reveals holidays we, yeah <laughs> we've had so much going on i thought we was done with all this uh after christmas is over nope so we've literally had company here into last week and then rolled into traveling yesterday and was gone quite a while we did a gender reveal an easter celebration with your family mm -hmm. traveled again today easter celebration with my family back home exhausted <laughs> and a so, busy week ahead and a very busy week ahead so just want to let y'all know just go ahead and spoil it no cooking tonight <laughs> yeah, i'm still leftovers. i'm still stuffed <laughs> from lunch oh my goodness mm -hmm. from the easter celebration and meal there yeah. and uh yeah we're probably we might keep this one a little shorter tonight too but we definitely did not want to cancel it because it's a holiday we want to spend the time with you i expect we probably won't have a bunch of people on being that it is easter a lot of people traveled and do some celebrating but we do thank you for spending your sunday afternoon with us i keep forgetting to say here lately if you're watching this back later we do record our live streams and allow playback so if you ask a question and we don't respond we're probably not live. You may be watching a playback, but we will respond to the comment when we wake up tomorrow, or the next day, whenever it is that you're watching. So thanks for everybody for uh, jumping on with us. Let me go ahead and uh, see what we got going on up here. Adam, of course. Well, Adam earlier, yes. <laughs> yes, I see Adam multiple times. He's been gifting memberships left and right. Thank you so much, Adam. We're Adam about, the Santa. Yeah, we're about to roll in uh, to another month here. And uh, we'll start kicking some memberships out ourselves, giving y'all some sneak peeks. We have some extremely big projects coming up this month. As y'all seen the fence today to the outdoor uh, entertaining area build, it's up. And then we're going to start working on a lot of the working projects good. and everything on the inside. It's going to get exciting pretty quick. Although some of these projects are going to take time. They're going to be 100% full custom builds. I don't know if y'all can envision the place just yet. You know, we've tried to explain it, but I don't think people can see what's swimming around in our heads yeah. right here. But it's going to be a really cool spot out there. Adam, thank you so very much. And then let's just go ahead and say thank you to Adam again. My goodness, man. Thank and I think you, he, Adam. I think he donated some memberships before the live stream even started. Yeah, Adam. Wow. Man, you're so generous. So generous. And I see he changed his name. Now he's KF0PRI. <laughs> I guess that's your radio call tag or handle. I don't know the proper terminology. Probably. <laughs> but Adam did pass his, uh, I guess it was your ham radio license test. Yeah. Adam's in so many different types of radios. He's been helping me out with some stuff as well. So uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, we truly do appreciate you. All right. Let's see what else we got going on here. I said, all, I, all I see, there's no comments. It's just, you've been gifted a membership, <laughs> membership. thanks to super generous Adam. So, yep, I already see bad houses. Go ahead and start it off. Did not get them. Did not get them up this week. But Tiffany is just informed before the live stream starts. <laughs> no matter what, we're getting at least one at up. At least this week. one up. This and, I, week. and I've got a spot picked out for one. So, okay, perfect. We're going to make it happen this week. We're going <laughs> to at least get one up. That. These homeless bats. I'm, I'm just going to say you. that's a promise. As long as you promise to remind me. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna we're working in you. one of the next couple of days. Um, but let's see here. So, Eric, I caught your comment right before we jumped on. It's just been busy the last many, many days. I haven't really had a whole lot of time to respond to Facebook comments and YouTube comments and everything else. So we went to the post office earlier this week. Did not see Zoe's bracelets. However, we were not able to make it to the post office end of the week. Yeah. They could be there. We had company here. We'll be able um, to go this week for yep. sure. Then we've been traveling. It's already on my list for tomorrow. So we will 100% be checking that, assuming Eric's on here. I hope you are. But I seen that you just uh, got a hold of us on Facebook a little while ago. So I did not get a chance to respond. It's, I'm just way behind. So much traveling. But we did go check earlier in the week and I did not see them. But they most likely showed up and we could not make it the last few days. So Dino wants to know about the chickens. I'll let you answer that. The chickens are doing good. Um, the rooster staying in his side and the hens just come and go as they please. He's got out a couple of times and, you know, made some ruckus out there. So I took care <laughs> of getting him back in there. 
Um, but they're doing great. We're getting about five to six eggs a day, which, which is more than we can eat. <laughs> yeah. So we've been eating deviled eggs, boiled yeah. eggs, salads, everything else. And we've been handing like mom and dad love eggs. So we've been like, here, here's another dozen, another <laughs> dozen, another dozen. We've been hooking them up. Plenty of eggs. I had a, another buddy. Now that I think about it, we had three different sets of company come by last mm-hmm. week. It was we a, did. Yeah, it was an interesting week. I had an old friend I haven't seen forever stop by last week. And I'm like, here, before you go, here's two dozen eggs. You know, <laughs> I'm hooking you up. So how about that? So Robert asked, what is a membership? So honestly, what a membership is, we have such amazingly generous people. Um, I got begged for years to set up a YouTube membership. That is just where you basically can pay. I think it's $4.99 is how we have our setup. And what we do is just people honestly being generous to us. Let's just call it what it is. They're just donating to us to support our calls and supporting the channel and, and just getting things going. Uh, but what we typically do is a little small behind the scenes shots, clips, but occasionally polls. We'll take some people's uh, comments like we did on the rocket stove. Mm-hmm. I'll post pictures as a build's going. It may be a week before I post the video and some people may have some input sometimes. Hey, why don't you do this, that, and the other? And I just did that the other day. A member suggested something. I was like, you know what, before I finish this bill and really this video, yeah. I'm going to incorporate it into it. So that that's what the memberships do right there. But ultimately, it supports your uh, your favorite content creator. And then we've got unbelievably generous people like Adams and others that's constantly gifting memberships, something that they do. Uh, and if you happen to get one of those, what we'll do, like I said, is just give you little sneak peeks and maybe do some polls and talk to you. But our plan is to always keep our content free on YouTube for anybody to watch. We do not expect donations. We do not expect anything. I'm always want to be clear about that, but we couldn't be where we are today doing what we're doing without y'all support. That's just the honest to God's truth. So thank you for asking, but that's what it is. And then of course you look right beneath you. There is Shane. (laughs) Shane. Thank you. So unbelievably generous there. Silver Queen Replenishment Fund. Oh, buddy. You got that right. <laughs> yeah, Silver expensive. Queen is, that's the seed we plant in the garden, y'all. It's my favorite corn on the planet. Most expensive seed bar none that I buy every year. Like literally about 10 times the cost of any other seed. Crazy high. So Shane just hooked us up not only to pay for this year's seed, but to go ahead and buy another pound awesome. for next year. Thank you, Shane. Shane, thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. You're being so Lots generous. Lots of corn this year. Yeah. Mr. Donald says, guess no bad house. Oh, but Tiffany this is this week it's plant. Tiffany has made promise, me promise, but I'm gonna pester. Well, I kind of just promised, and so now we okay. have to make it happen. All right, then it's gonna happen. Regardless I'm... if it's 10 minutes before next live stream, <laughs> <laughs> which yeah. he does procrastinate a little bit sometimes. Uh, <laughs> I ain't procrastinating, it's just which one of the 50 projects no. am I gonna do I today? Know, I know. All right, so let's go on <laughs> down here. Um Christine. Oh my yes, goodness. Wow. Uh-oh. So we generous. Just, we just froze up. Did we? Yeah. Oh, we did. What's going on? Okay. Um, well, let me make sure it's clear back on my phone before you start talking again. And, All right. And everything. What's going on? All right. And everything. Okay. So. What's going on? We can hear me now, but it's kind of skipping. Me. Can y'all see us? I'm freezing up really bad on my end. Everybody says we're live. Okay. It looks like we're okay now. I got full it's kind Wi-Fi. Of a little bit. All right, Adam says we're live. Everybody says, says we're, we're good. good. Okay. Well, it's throwing me off looking at myself on the screen. And it's just jittery yeah, and freezing up. That too. I don't get why it's doing that. That's interesting. Everybody else says we're good. Normally, it's the exact opposite. Everybody's like, you're freezing up. Yeah. We're like, no, nah, we're beautiful here. That's really strange right there. Now, we did just have something really weird going on with our tower. They've been working on it with the crane the last few weeks. I think we're occasionally getting 5G on our phones, which is awesome. Um, so I don't really know what's going on there, but I'm looking at beautiful Wi-Fi right now. I restarted my computer, so who knows? We occasionally have these gremlins. We're eventually getting fiber, which should One fix day. some of this, unless it's a computer issue. But we're we're always going to keep our cellular as well. But I was trying to recognize Christine. Yes, Thank Christine. you so much. Thank you so much. That so is extremely nice generous. Yes. 20 memberships yeah. just got gifted out there. So Thank to, you. So to anybody that just got a membership, well, <laughs> you're going to get some sneak peeks if you want them. Uh, hopefully... You wanted a membership and not, you got it, at least for a month. <laughs> so did I get the screws to finish? Um, as Todd, I'm assuming you mean on the fence. Yes, I went and bought 10 pounds of number or two inch deck screws. And I went out there yesterday morning and I must have put screws in for one or two hours. Like. Oh my goodness, y'all. I almost put 10 pounds of screws in there. There's hardly none left. And a 10 pound bucket is what we do. 10 pound bucket's that big. And here's the crazy <laughs> part, y'all. 
People might think I was nuts with some of the stuff I was talking about there. At that point, the fence had only been up 48 hours and only been in the sun two days. There's already quarter-inch gaps between the pickets. The boards are already warping. The nails are already pulling out from the, the nailing I did. Screwing is the only way to go for a fence like that. If you don't put the screws in, you're going to be in trouble. That is the only way to do it. I could not believe how quick it's drowned. It's drowned so fast. I think we may go ahead and stain or paint it whatever we decide very soon because the, there's literally quarter-inch gaps between boards that were butted together. Well, be about four days ago now. That is just crazy dry time. So, Mr. Jimmy says, nice job on the fence. Thank you so very much. Uh, so, Mr. and Miss Hammer wants to know, Tiffany, are you thinking about putting a cookbook out? Maybe one day. <laughs> um, yes, because now that when we do the cooking um, videos, I have the recipe in the description, whereas before I kind of just throw everything together. I don't really measure, keep up with it. But since we will have the recipes in the video description, I think that would be something easy to that do. That is something day. we might could put together at the end of the year. We got a lot of cooking planned this year. Yes. So that's the thing too. It it's like work. once I start cooking all these new recipes and I'm kind of trying to master my pizza dough recipes and get some things out, then I really want to do something with different recipes and things that, you know, people don't typically cook. So yeah, yep. I think that'll be fun. Oh, this camera brightness up y'all as the sun is setting here. It's getting dark on us. So, uh, speaking of recipes, uh -oh. um, I just seen it at the bottom and I didn't want to skip it again this week. But Mr. Robert asked, Have I tried the Texas Roadhouse recipe yet that he sent me? And I have not yet because shame, that's, shame. <laughs> that's a recipe I typically cook when we have the fresh garden vegetables, um, like the squash and the zucchini and the peppers. Sweet, so, I kind of save know. that for. Um, when all that's fresh coming in from the garden, but yes, I do. I'm excited to try it and I am going to try it eventually. Speaking of the garden vegetables, I walked, took a little walk this morning, took a little walk again this afternoon. We got plants popping up everywhere. Awesome. And so far, even though it looks like we're going to get like four or five days in the forties coming up in this week, going into next week, I don't see no frost. We may be going to make it, but we've already got plants popping up everywhere. It looks like the garden's doing really, really well. So somebody I haven't seen in a while, I want to recognize you, Brad Turner. <laughs> Buddy, I almost forgot about your name. He says, hey, y'all, long time no see. We used to see Brad as a regular, so welcome back, yes. man. <laughs> David, thank you so much. Always so kind and generous as well. One cubic foot of rocks, he yes, says. Well, we appreciate you. it. We'll do it at one cubic foot at <laughs> a time, as Johnny Cash used to sing. Maybe that isn't quite the song there. Uh, because we're about to put out, I don't know how many cubic yards out there, and we mm -hmm. probably need to go ahead and order I another semi -load. I think we're going to be okay. Yeah. We still got a semi load and a half. Um, okay. eh, maybe not a half, but I, I think we're going to be good. Um, it's it's just a phone call away to get another semi load of rocks in if we need to. <laughs> I'm sure they went up, <laughs> not down. Okay. Uh, wish you would show your chickens more often, says Roberts. I know. We kick ourselves for not showing the whole you know, ordeal with the other chicken and everything. It was just kind of like in the moment, we're trying to fix the situation. And yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> we do, though. <laughs> so when are the cows coming? Oh, we already got cows. You haven't heard? <laughs> There's probably one back here right now. <laughs> yeah. So there was one here again last night when we got home at 11 o'clock at night, by the way. Um, so our cows are going to come a little later on. It's a huge financial, mm -hmm. financial investment to that's almost 10 acres back there that we'd have to fence in. Very expensive. Plus the cost of the cows. You're talking tens of thousands of dollars. <sighs> It's, it's going to come. We want it so bad, but we've got other things that are priorities. Now, with that said, we have cows on the property almost every day. Uh, they keep getting out of our neighbors, and boy, has Coming that... to our fresh green grass. Uh, has that been an ordeal? It's like, been an ordeal. I don't even really want to get into it, to be honest with you. Um, we, <laughs> we're, we're hoping... We're hoping this cow gets caught soon, but it's been it's been extremely frustrating. Yeah. Needless to say, there is a cow pen right about there right now, uh, baited up, trying to catch a an elusive bull that's been out for almost three With weeks. All the grass you could eat and fresh water to drink. Yep, yeah, he's in heaven over here. <laughs> right in my pool, y'all. It's um, it's uh, uh, we're just gonna leave it at that. It's been extremely frustrating. So I saw where y'all went fishing. Did you make a video for the outdoor channel? So we actually have been doing a lot of bank fishing here lately. A lot of riding, bank fishing, checking stuff out. We have only caught. What yeah. one one good Nothing fish lost biting. a few. We got to warm up before everything. Yeah, is. I don't think people understand unless you're yeah. from Florida. Until the water temps start getting in the 70s, 
um, which they're not right now. The fish are lethargic, other than like say speckled perch and a few other types. Uh, the fishing's about to kick off. I told Tiffany I do plan on getting up one morning this week and going fishing. Uh, I want to try to squeeze that in. Maybe we've had enough warm days to make it happen, but then we're about to have five days in the 40s, which is going to knock the water temp down. Florida fish are really weird. It's, we're only literally another two to th four weeks away from the water temperature being where you need it to be. They'll get active, and we're going to show some of that. Uh, we absolutely do plan on going. We have already been going. What? I ain't, I'm so far behind, don't even talk about that. <laughs> You'll get to it. I ain't made it that common. <laughs> I see Mr. Jimmy talking about the uh, – Billboard fun. There's another fishing. Have any fishing forecasted? Yeah, uh, maybe this week. And we'll probably get out to salt water over the next two to four oh, weeks. I can't wait. Yeah, after I clean the entire shop out so I can pull the boat out. <laughs> God, I cannot wait to put the solar array in so I can get all the solar panels out from around the front of the boat. Those are not supposed to be in there. Man, we're oh, the sun is shifting is right so much. Eyes? Well, the sun's starting to shift so much mm, now. We're do getting you want me to put summer. the other shade down? I think we better. Okay. Yep, I thought that one shade was going to be perfect today. Now I'm blinding everybody. Look at that, y'all. All right, let's scroll on down. So many comments coming in. I am going to have to kind of bounce around, y'all. I do apologize. Um, Let's see what else we got going on here. Mikey, thank you so much. Oh, my goodness, y'all. do not want to miss y'all's wonderful gener uh, donations tonight. Y'all are so generous. He says, for the multivitamins to swing the eight-pound mall. Mikey, That's I ain't going to lie, Mikey. <laughs> I think this is day number five now since I swung and made that video, and I'm still sore. Like the last couple of days has been, oh boy, have I been sore. But it just oh shows you how out of shape I am right there. What's going on? The wind. All right, let's see what else we got here. Adam, thank you so much. He says, I'm new here, which is a lie. And oh. happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter to you too, Adam. Thank you so much for doing that. We truly appreciate you. <laughs> the members keep wanting to know about the bat houses. You're going to get at least one this week. We're just going to do it. We're going to do it. Tiffany has promised to remind me. So, uh, Chris, thank you so much for reminding everybody. If y'all do hit the like button or like our content, comments, y'all helps, likes, helps, sub subscribing to the channel, and of course, sharing. That's the whole reason our channel's growing like it has. So, thank y'all so much for bringing that up. So, Eric, I already talked about it earlier, but y'all must have just jumped on. We went to the post office earlier in the week. Zoe's bracelets were not there. We had company come in. We had three sets of company last week, uh, mm -hmm. kind of all unexpected. So we could not make it to the post office end of the week. Easter yesterday, gender reveal party yesterday, Easter again today. Of course, yeah, post office ain't open But day. we're going to get to it. Sorry that you know we didn't well, get to it later. We, we did go once last week, and they were not there, but we could not make the last day of the week because we had company. They could have been there, but it's already on our schedule to go check tomorrow. So uh, we'll for sure let you know. I did see your Facebook comment before I jumped on the live stream, um, so I already answered it earlier, but y'all must have jumped on a little laughter right there. <clears throat> um... Let's see what else we got going on here. Grab a couple more of these. How about the dealer houses? So ask Miss Lee. Well, I wish I had time to build some more armadillo houses, as we'll call them. Um, I do not, and I need to. We need to we get more carpenter bee houses up. Oh, my goodness. The carpenter bees are yeah. have been as bad as I've ever seen this year. Contrary to popular belief and what I was told on all the videos I made, I don't see any chew marks on our house yeah, up here since now. it's painted. And everybody told me, oh, they'll chew through paint. Nope, they sure haven't. But they are swarming everywhere. All up in my barn, my other barn. I have never seen carpenter bees this thick. That's what I really need to be working on trapping right there uh, before they eat my place down. I actually do have a few more traps I've got to put up. So Mr. Jimmy said it's $12.99 a pound for Silver Queen there. You're Ooh. doing good, buddy. No, it's... uh. I think I got mine was 15 or 18 a pound, and I've heard it going upwards of $20 a pound at some of the uh, seed stores around here. So $12.99 is excellent. I haven't bought it that cheap in a long time. Okay, someone said that you missed a donation. Did I miss a donation? Look, right I don't want to. This I, one? I don't want to miss did it. Did you get that one? You didn't hardly. No, I did not. Okay. Why is that one not showing? Adam, another one. He says, don't blame me, blame Andrew's computer. Oh, uh, well, it's actually not showing up. I, I was know. wondering when we were freezing up. Look, it's not up here at all. It must be his computer. <laughs> it must be my computer because I did not see yep. that one. And it's it's... Not, it must have timed out. See, what it does sometimes with the donations is once it takes a little while to get to them, it times some of them out and just swipes them off. So 
Well, I it's never weird. seen it scrolling back and forth. It must have been when it was freezing up. This is even on the top of mine now. I know. It's I don't gone. know what's going on. Yeah. But glad you caught that. Thank you again, Adam. Oh, my goodness. So Crystal says, please tell us about your firewood customer you said you thought might be keeping you busy. I'm good. Uh-oh. I think I hear somebody going by maybe to check on cows. I'm going to I'm gonna not say too much, Crystal. Well, one, I haven't fully decided if I'm going for it or not. It's a lot of extra work. I'm not sure if the money is going to be worth it. And we may have some new, bigger, exciting projects coming up as if we, need, as if we need more. <laughs> and I want to make for sure I don't take time away from something that may be more beneficial yeah. for the channel. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to mention it. a little bit too much that we can chew on. Yeah, but I don't want to mention it just in case, you know, in yeah. case I do decide to go for it and somebody swoops in and takes the business out from under me. I will just say... Um, it's a restaurant that uses a lot of wood and a restaurant customer burns it around the clock. Well, seven days. Well, how many every days a week they're open? Whereas <laughs> typically here where you just split all summer dry and then we wait for September to come and then everybody starts calling from hunting camps and fish camps. And, hey, we want to buy some firewood. You'll sell it like heavy for a few months. Roadside stand was a dream of mine. And then you're kind of done. You split again. Uh, a restaurant customer needs good quality wood. They need it, can you know, consistent, on time, no delays. That's that's a big, big commitment. Um, and I wasn't even looking for it. It just kind of come up in conversation the other night, and then I was like, Whew, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to really think about that one yeah. because it would be, it would be a lot of wood, a lot on top of what I was already planning on doing, and I'm already planning on doing quite a bit for, like I said, our roadside stand, us, and then now we have this outdoor kitchen this year that's gonna run on nothing mm -hmm. but coals and wood. I don't know if I'm ready to commit to producing that much. I could, but not with all the other stuff that we do and make content on. Um, we're thinking it over. Thanks for asking, but we're, we're thinking it over. I haven't you committed just light yet. Us up? Yep. Camera is getting a bit dark, especially now with that shade down. Let's run that up. All right. Um, crab fishing, night vision, anything. P more podcast. Big Wave wants anything but Kelly's country <laughs> life, it sounds like. <laughs> he says more Kelly's outdoors. So crab fishing actually is on our agenda. We almost it went is. two weeks ago. The tide was horrible. I know. And I mean horrible. Gosh. We went to a mud been flat. Been ago. We have. That, that's actually going to be coming up. Um, crabbing, and I do want to go do one quick bass fishing trip. I'm going to see if I can pull that I off for you. I'm ready to go crabbing. Yeah. I lemons and I keep the chicken. <laughs> yep. Yep. We're All definitely right. going to try to make that happen. It's starting to get and, to the season. Um, another video that's coming on his list is more thermal. Yeah. I have been mm -hmm. recording. Anytime I go out and um, uh, assist some armadillos, I, I do record and we will get a, another one of those out. All right. Let's scroll on down here. I'm kind of jumped all over the place with the comments. Um, <laughs> yes, Glenn. I see your comment. Hey, buddy, about the our our cattle problem. We won't go any further than that. <laughs> Mr. Jimmy said he's off tomorrow and he's going fishing. Will you enjoy yourself, Mr. Jimmy? Enjoy that day off. Go catch one for us. You carp fishing or do you get into something else? You need to get in some fishing you can eat, man. Of course, you may eat carp, but I don't know anybody else that does. So Cash says he can swing that eight pound mall. Well, Cash, I ain't as much of a man as you are. That thing, it took me about, I swung, y'all didn't see how many times I swung it because it was so much panting and breathing and it sounded horrible to put in a video. I swung it probably 20, 30 times and said, uh -uh, that ain't for me. I I'm went surprised to, you were not in agony. I'm still sore, but I needed that. That's good workout, it really is, but I don't need a workout. I, know, I need, but I need, we need production. you to have your back. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah, that's true too. I ain't 20 no more. But when I went to the six pounder, Huge difference. Like, I really do enjoy swinging that one. I think I'm going to enjoy swinging that super split axe, the long one they make even more than that, and it's supposed to be powerful. Um, but the six-pounder is nice. Eight-pounder, I think it's going to be good for some heavy-duty wedge work and a few other things. Uh, but I'm glad you could swing it, Cash. Why don't you come on back to Florida and show us how it's done? Should I remind you, you were panting and sweating running a hydraulic log splitter the last time you was here? <laughs> All you're doing was this. Don't call him out. Oh, I am calling him out. Because he, <laughs> he remember the end of the video, he said, I am sweating. I'm wore out. And this is the guy telling me he's going to swing an eight pounder right here. So Mav says that he can't stay long tonight. He's on his medication, but he has a question right here. So uh, I went back to it for first you. First and only question, I promise. <laughs> I don't know about that promise. I seen the fence video today. Would it not help to have both sides up instead of just one side with the fence? Would that make it easier to fall over? What you mean? Putting panels on the backside as well? Both sides of the fence. I think that's what you're saying. 
put more slats yeah. on the back well, side. The way you build it, it should not go anywhere. It's not, but that would cost a tremendous amount yeah. more money to put slats on the back side. And, and it really doesn't look terrible back there. Either, I know some people so. said people are going to see that. Y'all don't understand. Yeah. When, when guests pull in, they cannot see the fence. It's, they're looking through thick trees. When guests are on this porch right here looking over there, they cannot see the back side of the fence. Nobody's going to see the back side at all except for me in the shop working. I don't yeah. care. I don't care at all. Um, if guests could see something that didn't look good, I promise you we'd cover it up. But we're, we're going to be smart with our money and not do any more than we had to because I already spent a few hundred more dollars on that fence than you typically would doing the six by six post and the concrete and the two by sixes and the four inch screws. Um, I probably could have saved three to $400 on the whole build cost, but it was worth it to me to pay the extra three to $400 for the, all the work I put in for it to not be laying on the ground next time a storm comes through. And it still could, but I feel far more comfortable about mm -hmm. that fence than most people's smaller fences I see put in. So Bob says, y'all become one of my favorite YouTube channels. Oh, thank you, Bob. Thank you, we Bob. appreciate you so much. We love hearing that. <laughs> Did I use hanger clips to attach the fence to the shed? No, I actually just toe-nailed in some four-inch screws. I'm going to go back and put some of those L brackets in that I was telling you about. Basically, hurricane clips is what I'm going to go put in. Um, Let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, oh sorry. You're ripping my flip-flop <laughs> off. Sorry. Belly flop, belly flop, belly flop. Not tonight, Cash, but appreciate you bringing that up. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> Maybe another night. We, if we start something, I can see it ain't going to stop. So oh, we're gonna, yeah. We're going to have to occasionally <laughs> give y'all that. I'd prefer it be after, well, maybe like May. That sounds really good. I know the pool will be comfortable then. <laughs> All right, May 1st. Everybody's going to be hounding you for it. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, everybody's asking about fishing. Y'all can see how far behind I am. Yes, we are ready to fish. Yep. Cash says he can come over and split some more firewood then if I need to basically get that <laughs> customer. Bring it on. Come on. Let's come do on, it. Cash. And you're going to do it all that eight-pound mile, and we're going to record every bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so does uh, Robert wants to know, Tiffany, does Bullet get in the pool like Ruger? So Bullet does not like the water, but I did buy him a little float that has a bottom in it, and um, – as soon as that float would come around to the edge, he jumped right out. So yeah, <laughs> he is not interested in the pool, but I figured, Oh, you know, he'd want to be in there with Ruger. Now he's like, let me out of here. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we got going on here. <laughs> Hold on. Go back up. Yeah. It shot me yep. down. There was a comment. More. <laughs> yeah. There was a comment I was trying to catch. Oh, sorry. Y'all the comments so shoot around. I get so far behind. So Roger says, I fish out of Steen Hatch or Keaton Beach area. I refer to that as a salt flats. If I lived where y'all are, I'd go three times a week. Then he says the important thing. I'm retired, by the way. <laughs> yep. You can fish three times a week when you're retired. <laughs> so actually, um, we were talking at dinner today. My brother-in-law has been fishing out of that area. And he says, you'd be shocked at how much it's been tore up by the hurricane. Like there's hardly no grass. That kind of concerns me. The Steen Hatch area. We do Keaton all the way over to St. Mark's is the area that uh, we, we uh, that fits our drive time the best. Back when we used to live further south in here, I fished in Hatchie a lot myself, so I'm very familiar with the area. But I am curious to hear um, how the grass flats is because that's that's just what this area is known for. That's mm -hmm. absolutely know what it's known for. So Mikey says. He has 317 cords ready for next year. Ooh. And I'm just trying to get to 30 plus cords for this year. And he's got My 317. Gracious. That is insane. That is absolutely insane, Mikey. <laughs> and I know I ain't going to say Mikey's business, but I know Mikey doesn't do firewood full time. How do you have time to do oh. 317 cords plus all the other jobs and stuff that you do? That is insane. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. What is this one? No, 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 no. Uh -huh. Am I assisting a lot of armadillos? Yeah, we're assisting them all right. <laughs> assisting them to sleep. Yeah, we got plenty of holes out there that we need to fill in. And he's mad. They have at least six or seven holes that we need to fill in right now. Yeah. So Sab's Rehab says, what microphone are y'all using? They sound great. An extremely generous viewer hooked us up with these, what, a couple of years ago? Mm -hmm. These are the Rode Wireless Go 2s. They sound awesome. What y'all can't hear is I got a fan right behind us blowing across me to blow the gnats off. It's loud to me, but these with the wind must work awesome. I can ride in tractors with them revved up and people can still hear what I'm saying. Best microphone I've ever used by far. And when you watch our older videos, when we didn't have mics, I cringe. Turn the, up the brightness. The, huh? The yeah. Brightness. The audio was horrible. 
Good audio makes all the difference in the world. It's more important than a camera. It, it, it really is. It really is. So there's Arnie with his typical, this is not a donation <laughs> donation. Hi, Arnie. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank Arnie. You. We truly appreciate you. Uh, Half Pint said it was a funny video. That's definitely man's mall. It was a funny video of me huffing, puffing, and sweating. Boy, I should have gave y'all all the other stuff. Of, <laughs> Somebody said those rubber logs that you were hitting. They were straight up rubber. And those things, y'all, that was the hurricane last year when those trees went down. But I've kept them log form. I thought they'd be dried out some. They are so green, it's literally like hitting rubber. If those have been dried out maybe three years, I don't have that kind of time. I kind of I could have split them with them all just fine. But there's a huge difference between splitting something that's been dried out and green wood. Huge difference. I think I showed you my set. Suma tree blossoms. I'm pleased to announce they're almost dead from winter. Lemon tree has five blooms on it. That says Glenn. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, I did see those on Facebook. Speaking of satsumas or whatever else, we have still yet to make it out to the woods to pick the, like the last 50. We went back there and seen them today. They're still there. They are still there, they but it's so, it's so warm now. They're probably going to be <laughs> yeah. mushy and rotten, but they haven't hit the ground. Okay. We never went back and picked all the citrus out of the woods. We keep forgetting about them. We've got to go do that. Put that on with my one bat house this week. So, uh, Mikey, thank you so much for the donation that says, do not do a belly flop. It's Until too May. cold. That's exactly what it says. <laughs> then, oh, he made another donation yeah. right behind that. He says, do not, I repeat, do not do a, do belly, a belly flop. flop. <laughs> Mikey, I appreciate you being on our side so much. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. So Mr. Jimmy says he's going striper fishing more. I haven't yet to ever catch a striper. There's only a couple places here that have them. I've always been curious about them. He says, I carp fish for money. Interesting. Hmm. Just the tour tournament money or do you sell them or something? Is there that much money in carp fishing? I might could get into that. Uh, let's go on down. Oh, look, Mr. Mr. Mikey. <laughs> Mr. Mikey. <laughs> Another do not get in the pool. Mikey. He's trying to get his point across. Mikey, thank you so very much. <laughs> You're being extremely generous and so thoughtful. Yeah, no, I don't want to get sick or get pneumonia or cold or anything like that. I appreciate you so much, Mikey. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, Cash is, you guys got a lot of humidity. Yeah, buddy, we do. So again, Boy. come swing that eight pounder down here in this Florida humidity. I'd love to see that. Uh, wet spongy wood is tough to split. Do you have room to maybe cut them into rounds and then let them dry some before splitting? Not really. Here's the problem with Florida. So much rain, so much wet dirt, everything else. It's hard to stack rounds anywhere and anything that touches the moisture or ground with the moisture, it's rotten. You got to get it in split form and put up off the ground. Uh, otherwise it just does not make it. Uh, I see everybody's talking about some big fire somewhere. Not sure where that is, but hopefully everybody is okay. There is Mr. Mike. Thank you so much for also telling everybody no belly flops tonight. Still May. We, we don't want Andrew getting sick. Mike, appreciate you, buddy. Thank, thank you so much. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Yeah. So, Mr. Jimmy says, Andrew, if I get time. Oh, I lost the comment again. I think he said I'm sending you something in the mail. Yes, tomorrow, I think is what he said. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Jimmy. Yes. Oh, there it is. There I found it, it again. If I get back in time, I'm going to send you something in the mail tomorrow. Thank you so much, Mr. Jimmy. We truly do appreciate you. Uh, you don't have to send us nothing, but we can't stop you, can we? Thank you. Uh, there's Mikey again. Oh my goodness, you are the most thoughtful <laughs> people in the planet. Mikey, seriously, stop. Credit card companies are going to call you, buddy. <laughs> he says, do not do a belly flop now. That is awesome, Mikey. I appreciate you thinking of us. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. So as soon as we get rid of the bats, it'll be belly flops. Yes. Yeah. Mike says that sheep head bites on fire. I know. Actually, we're mm. almost past the season Sounds here for delicious. sheep head. I like mm. going out and spearing them. That is something I would like to go take a day and do. We'll run down to Steen Hatch. I got some, some secret spots in close to shore um, where I can actually get sheep head in very shallow water. And this fat boy feels safe enough swimming there and shooting them. <laughs> Whereas I used to dive offshore all the time. I'm so out of shape now. I ain't doing that no more. Um I, I actually would really like to go down there and do that. Shoot some mullet and sheep heads. That would be fun. Yeah, spear fishing. If we can break away. If we can break away. <laughs> if we stop doing all these aggravating projects. And if everybody would not get me sick by jumping in a cold pool. You know, I can't go make fishing <laughs> videos if I jump in today and I'm sick the next three or four days. Just putting that out there. <laughs> all right. So, Adam. Goodness gracious, Adam. Wow, Adam. He says... 
I don't know what the first part of that donation says, but it says AKA gas fund. Love you, Adam. <laughs> Gas fund is exactly what I think that should be, Adam, man. My goodness, dude. Y'all have been so kind of generous tonight. Wow. Trying to keep me healthy and not ill and out of that pool. Thank y'all so much. Adam, thank you, buddy. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> Mr. Jimmy says, Robert, we just went under $3 a gallon here for gas. It's still, what, three fifty six? dollars No, it's three sixty nine. Three sixty nine dollars here. I, I, we ain't seen the twos in forever. I called the gas station on the way home. Oh, that yeah. would be awesome. Yeah, we're going up, not down. And then cash in old California. There's your problem, cash. It says four eighty a gallon. Oh, oh, that makes my skin crawl. Mm. Four eighty. How does it two two something somewhere and four eighty somewhere else? That is just insane. Yeah, everybody else is like, "What?" <laughs> All right, let's go on down here and find. Uh, so Sticker Hog says, "After lots of tries, I finally made it to your live." Woohoo! Well, welcome, Sticker Hog. Welcome. With a name like that, what do you do? Make stickers for a living? That, I'm pretty smart. <laughs> that, that'd be my guess. So welcome. Good to have you here. Thanks for stopping by. Um, lots of people saying happy Easter again. If you just jumped on, absolutely. If you're celebrating that, don't forget the real reason for the season, people. Happy Easter. And if you're not celebrating it, we truly do appreciate you spending your Sunday with us. Anyways, and I know a lot of people couldn't make it tonight because they're traveling, seeing family and everything else. That's completely understandable. That's what we've been doing the last few days. So if you also just jumped on, we've literally had three different sets of company last week. Now I think about it. Traveled yesterday to a gender reveal party, Easter party, another Easter get together today. And we got back home. So no cooking tonight. Sorry to disappoint y'all if you just jumped on. And we may cut the live stream a little short tonight, but we're having fun uh, because I'm dead. I am absolutely dead. I'm getting Ready so, to relax I'm getting so sick and tired of driving. Yeah, I think we are going to try to have a little fire tonight. Um, yeah, temperature's dropping pretty good over it there. Is. Feels good. I think Feels we are going to have a little fire. And just relax. What? It was one other one I want to see here. Um, if you do not video the bat house, it did not happen. That's a lie, Robert. I can take a picture and hold it up <laughs> next week. So here's what I am thinking about doing this. Obviously, I'm going to record the bat houses. I record everything. Um, but I don't think I'm going to release that video till we actually have some living there. That could take weeks, months. I don't know, but we will snap some pictures for proof. <laughs> we will do that. And then as soon as we get done, snap a picture, I'm going to unnail it or unscrew it, take it back down, put it back in the shop. <laughs> no, I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that laugh. <laughs> yeah. Evil, isn't it? Well, they've been on me forever, so I'm having some fun with them. Um, yep, it shot me all the way to the bottom again. Oh, because yeah. you're that far behind. I am that far behind. Let's just grab some comments. I'm sorry, all this thing shoots me all over the place. I wish it would leave me where I'm at, but sometimes I think I get so far behind, it tries to catch me up mm -hmm. after an X number of comments have been posted. It's a little aggravating, but it is what it is. Oh, uh, Glenn's talking about my favorite tree to split, sweet gum. Not really. I hate that stuff with a passion. <laughs> just pure stringy nastiness. Um, and, um, um, ah, everybody's doing the radio call signs. I was trying to figure out what the heck's going on here. So have we been down to the St. Mark's lately and ate at the Riverside? We are going again in a few weeks. Ask Brad. We have not. When's the last time we ate at Riverside? Ooh. Oh, gosh. Did we even go last year? I don't think we did. Maybe we did once. Beginning, very beginning of the year. Brad, it's, I can't even remember. Now that you bring that up, let me turn this camera brightness up. Um, we used to go all the time. We will go again because we like putting the boat in down there. We'll go up the Wakulla. Yeah. We love going up to St. Mark's as well. I don't think we did. I don't think we did go last year. When we went to Dog Island, we ate barbecue on the way home. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, we didn't go, I don't think, anymore. No. No, last year was probably the worst yeah. year of my entire life. Honest, honestly, not joking here. My least amount of fishing trips and boating trips. Not well, I won't say boating trips. We do take we do boat a lot during the spring and summer. A lot. We just don't record it. It's typically our one day that we take off from recording. We'll go relax with friends, run a mud boat on some local rivers. Um, it would be repetitious boring content anyways. But as far as fishing goes, last year was the worst year of our life. So we didn't hardly go anywhere. We didn't do any traveling. Went to Dog Island once, which we need to do again this year. Um, yeah. 
They haven't been there forever. Yeah. And I don't know how they fared with the hurricane either, which the they, hurricane didn't really quite go Yeah, they there, had some damages. Like, they replaced their shirt. whole roof. They have, oh. um, like, palms all over the roof. Yeah. They had to replace all that. Yeah, their entire so, roof over the yeah. entire restaurant is just palm fronds stuck together. It looks like something in the Caribbean. Big tiki hut. It's a huge tiki hut. It's a really cool place. But we always go there because that's the closest place to us that offers yellowfin tuna, my mm -hmm. favorite fish. And I always go there and get a yellowfin tuna sandwich. So, Brad, enjoy yourself. Give us feedback if you jump on next week, how the place is holding up, yeah, if the food's that. still the same, and if the wait is still an hour and a half. They got the longest wait on the planet, but we love it. They'll, do, great atmosphere. they'll do live music, yeah. have good food. It's worth it. We still go back. Uh, yeah, right. Now, oh, I like how this. Everybody, now everybody's ganging up saying Tiffany's got to jump in the pool since I won't. <laughs> I did get in the pool Friday. She did. I did. And y'all did cold. Y'all did admit it was cold. It was cold, but uh, I did get in. So Steven gave us the big arm for 132,000 yes. subs. Thank y'all so much for helping get us there. We super exciting. We that truly we're do uh, appreciate you. So Mikey, spinach fun. Yeah. Spinach fun. Yeah, you don't know what that's for. Uh. -uh. Popeye spinach. Well, for muscles. For oh, <laughs> oh, so he's calling me weak and scrawny. Thanks, Mikey. Appreciate you, buddy. I was sitting there thinking, like, is he well, he's been sending us tomato plants and everything. I was like, oh, yeah, that's where he's like, so you want me to go buy some spinach and plant? I was like, it's the wrong time here. Come on, yeah, I was like, we don't plant spinach till winter time here, it just burns up. What's he talking about? Yes, I need to eat some spinach, Mikey. Thank you so much. Golly, Mikey, appreciate you, buddy. Golly, yes, everybody's on the bats again. Um. So, Mr. Jimmy says, I was curious. We have what's called pay lakes here for carp. Pays like the heaviest weight ever, 15 minutes and the biggest fish per hour. I've came home with $2,300, only paying $55 entry fee. Very wow. interesting. Very interesting. So, it's pay lakes. Basically, it's just a tournament lake. It's set up just for that. Huh. Interesting. We don't have nothing like that around here. They'll do bass tournaments to where you just meet up at some random lake or boat ramp on a river, run, be back at a certain time and do uh, weights. But... That's interesting. You got a dedicated lake just for that. Uh, Big Wave says, I have lots of spear guns, Andrew. I know, Big Wave. I used to go all the time. I was obsessed with it. And then I got older, fatter, and less healthy, and I kind of fell out of it. When I started not I'm feeding. I'm glad that you kind of put a stop to it because there were some scary moments of you out there. I've had some moments. Spearing how many feet? Like 60, 70? Uh, no, I used to go out. For, you know, no, the depth that you would yeah, have. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. I used to go out the 45, 50 foot range is kind of where yeah. I stopped. I could and having that. some encounters with sharks. Oh, I had many of those. So I was kind of glad that you got away from that. I, I did push yeah. my luck quite a few times. Um, It's dangerous doing that. Single breath of air and diving down there and trying to pull a grouper mm -hmm. out of a rock or out of a rubble yeah. pile. Um, I used to be able to dive over 70 feet. Uh, when I was in really good shape. And then again, when the wetsuits quit fitting, I kind of quit going. <laughs> uh, so uh, question for Tiffany. Does Andrew own a pair of chaps? Ask, who do you think? <laughs> Chris. Oh. <laughs> he does, and he is stubborn about it. Plus, I get he's hot. He's being very. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> That's why she married me. <laughs> I tried to bring him out there the other day to him. He's like, no. It was hot. <laughs> Damn, it's getting dark right here. So let's here. Let's catch this comment. Do we freeze? You freeze all your food. Do you ever freeze any catches like fish? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. The best way to freeze fish, bar none, most types of fish, not all. They're a little different. Um, fill the bag full of water, and I freeze my fish in water. There's something about it. It just protects them, doesn't give them that frostbite. And I typically try to eat my fish within six months. Now, there's certain types of fish, for example, like mullet. Spanish mackerel, any oily fish like a mackerel, I do not freeze, will not freeze. It's just not worth it. The only exception is mullet dip. After I smoke it and mix oh, it. Oh, speaking of that, I need to thaw that out. You do. Week. We need to eat the last. Mm -hmm. I just made some mullet dip uh, a few weeks ago. We need to eat the last of it. Mullet dip freezes great, but it's already smoked in a completely different format. But uh, there's something about gallon bag, fish fillets in there, fill it up with fresh water, freeze it. Works very well for us. It really does. Um, oh, look, somebody splatter eyes talk about smoke mullet fish dip right there. How about that? Does Cash have a YouTube channel? He should. He should. <laughs> yes, with all his cooking. And yeah, no kidding. That's what he really should have. <laughs> and swinging that eight pound mall that he's claiming he could just come over here and do so easily. Uh, I'm reading y'all. I'm reading. 
Everybody's still talking about crazy gas prices for you. There's always something that's mentioned in a live stream that just works everybody up. All right. I feel like I have shot way down and missed something. I'm sure I have, but I probably needed to get to the bottom anyways. You go over there. I didn't miss nobody on donations, did I? I I'm going back up. I certainly don't want to do that. Oh, yeah. yep. Here's a yep, that one. chat fun. <laughs> chat fund says, uh, Adam, thank you, Adam. Uh, but he's saying it's for Chris. You're right. You know what, Chris? We've never asked you. As much as you give me a hard time about all that safety gear, do you wear your chaps every <laughs> single time? You be every honest. Every time. <laughs> and you be honest with me now. You be honest with me. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I'm going through. I'm going through. Well, can we at least see Ruger in the pool? You could have earlier. I think Ruger is a sleep. Ruger is absolutely passed out. Yeah. I just caught Ruger him over here. He has to be hot to get in. He don't. He don't just get in leisurely. He just oh. wants to get in every time he's hot. And now, with that around. said, he's been in what three times already today? Yeah, he yeah, went in. He went in once today. before his run. He's got to go on a run every single day. That torturous run that everybody gets home <laughs> to me about. And then we'll run him. He has to come back and swim. He wants to run a little more. He comes back and swims. And then he does exactly what he's doing right now. He's passed out in his yeah. sandbox. He did get in the pool he's with gone. me the other day. If yeah. I was in the pool, he wanted to be in the pool. Well, there was also another dog yeah, around here. Yeah, we had two dogs was... in the pool on their floats. <laughs> yeah. You would think with my OCD, that would drive me mad. But being that I'm not swimming in the pool right now, and I'm going to trust the filter is going to take care of everything, I haven't as worried about it. As he gets in the pool and then runs and then gets back in the pool, the pool actually is pretty clean. So, for the most part. Yeah. We can't Not see what you it. thought, like yeah. air floating uh -huh. there, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can't see it. So Big Wave says, I am an advanced rescue diver. I dive steel tanks and have lots of PPE. Breath oh, holding is wow. okay, but I usually limit out on one dive. Gotcha. Okay. So I started out with tank diving and honestly got sick of it so quickly. Going to get in the tanks field, the certifications, putting all that heavy stuff on. By the time you got dressed in the boat and put your BC and all the takes and stuff. Oh, you were panting, you're out of breath, you're burning up. It got aggravating. And then he had all that junk in the boat. And then I discovered free diving one day, which meant I carried one bag with a little bit of stuff, fell in love with it. <laughs> Plus it was kind of like a challenge, like people that do archery versus other traditional types of hunting um, and just fell in love with it. Then I went and got certified, started diving in some local springs where we used to live that were literally over 70 foot deep. So I was blessed to have that right down the road from us. Um, extremely deep holes, and it just become a challenge at that point. And then I got some friends in it. Uh, we've always been water babies. My goodness, we got to have water in our life one way or another. We're obsessed with the water. Uh, so I just, it was a challenge at the time. And I guess as the older I've gotten, uh, priorities change. It's not a challenge much anymore. And we've got too much other stuff going on. So I want to take a question here. Go ahead. Um, half, Please. <laughs> take Please. A, take a sip of your let drink. Me, let me breathe for a second. <laughs> I believe it was Half Pint said that he asked if we've ever ate at um, the fish camp in Tallahassee. It is on we our list. Not, but we want to go so bad. I had I had added them, or I added them on Facebook because mm -hmm. um, there was a local band that we wanted to see. And now it's all over my Facebook and it looks like it's a really fun place. So, so yeah. not too terribly far from us. Lots of live music. We love mm -hmm. live music and we like small off the beaten path spots like that. I don't like city driving and crazy back streets and all that stuff. That's just out in the nowhere. Plus a lot of the people that we hang out with on the river locally here, they also hang out on that lake, Lake Ammonia. Um, and they have sons and children, and everybody else that hang out over there all the time and are always at the fish camp. We've been invited there so many mm -hmm. times for some reason we've yet to make it. And that's a yeah, decent drive getting for us. him to Tallahassee is. I hate driving <laughs> up in any cities, even though that's way on the outskirts and I can take back roads home. I just, I don't like traffic. I don't like city driving at all. Um, but we're for sure going to go. Um, it's mainly because of live music. And it's a beautiful looking spot. We love little fish camps like that. And I've heard the food's good. So we're going to for sure be going. That's actually, we were just talking about that with that group yeah, the other night. Yeah, we want to do it before thunderstorm season starts happening. Well, that's we if we take about... the boat on the lake. If we don't take well, the boat on the lake, we can just drive up there. Yeah, we'd have to pick a good day. But you know how storms are rolling up. It's Florida. It's kind of it an outdoor place. Okay, there was a question I was going to let you get here. Uh -huh. uh, let me find it. I lost it. I'll find it. You just keep going. All right. Let's see what else we got going here. So I see a lot of people bringing up here at the end about YouTube premium, about ads, everything else. Mm -hmm. um, very good point. Somebody mentioned YouTube premium. 
So if at any point ever you don't like ads, by the way, appreciate ads on YouTube because if there was no ads, YouTube wouldn't exist. Your content creators wouldn't exist. It's, it's the way we get paid, to be perfectly honest with you, with the exception of YouTube Premium, which I personally have had for a while. It's a monthly fee. You get no ads. I can't remember the last time I've seen an ad, but you get so many other perks. I can listen offline. I listen to podcasts on YouTube all day long. You always see the earbuds in. I can turn the screen off, put the phone in my pocket, and it continues to play. I love that. I can go listen to a three-hour Joe Rogan podcast or a micro or something like that. It's, it's really cool. You can also do music. You can build playlists. Uh, you can listen to music videos, which we love in the fall without uh, ads. So there is that option there. Otherwise, the only way that YouTube and your content creator gets paid is if there's an ad. So it's just the nature of the beast. It's the way it works. If there's no ads and no money coming in from advertisers, this whole thing just doesn't work. It's just just kind of the way the world works, to be perfectly honest with you. What was the comment? Barry's comment right there. So uh, Barry asked, are y'all using any kind of non-chemical in insecticide control in our yard? In our yard, no. I use bifen. I use the good stuff because that's, we have lots of termites and other stuff here. It's Florida. I mean, might as well call us Australia number two. We've got more snakes, spiders, and bugs and stuff. Jumanji. Yeah, than you could imagine. When you start working into our garden, yes, I get very particular. Chemical-free, uh, especially in the soil and in my garden beds. Uh, bug control, I use diatomaceous earth, neem oil, stuff like that. That works decent on bugs. Nothing works as good as pesticides, in my personal opinion, but that stuff ain't going around my food. It's just not going to. And then as far as herbicides go, like in the garden, for example, I use propane weed burners and actually just wilt the weed right down, move on, and it kills it or good old fashioned hand picking. But up around the house where you're really trying to protect your investment, we do use the good stuff. Now, if you'll go back and watch some of the house building videos, I treated my entire inside walls, studs, everything with what's called Boracare. It's a liquid boracide, which is non-toxic, very safe, stays in the walls forever, and it's like a really good termite and uh, roach treatment and everything else. We do put those physically in the walls, mainly for termites is what I was highly concerned with. We got them so bad here in Florida. So that would be the next closest thing that I could recommend boracide, boracare, any of those types of products. Problem is a lot of that powdery stuff and some of that liquid stuff washes away with the rain and you got to put it out again. So, but around the house, I like a good oil based bifen. Yes, that is an actual chemical garden. Nope. Yeah. Don't want none of that stuff. And isn't out it there. supposed to be safer around the animals? That's what they claim. Yeah. It's supposed to be cats are very particular to a lot of chemicals. That one's supposed to be, don't quote me on this. Uh, I ain't no, I'm not licensed, but go read it. I've heard it's actually relatively safe for your pets. You want to turn us up one more time? Yeah. We'll probably jump on. Yeah, we got them. Uh, about yeah, as we're bright as I can get it. hitting her left. Yeah, we are. Right. We got the shades down and the sunset. So we're probably about to wrap this thing up anyways. We'll grab uh, another comment here. So Glenn says, okay, that what y'all y'all been talking about this a lot. So we'll keep talking about it. I had YouTube for years without a single ad until I subscribed to YouTube TV for college football. Canceled that at favorite season, started getting ads. Premium subscribers now. Premium's the way to go, man. That's what I went with. I know a lot of the world's pushing you toward a paid service, but what is it now? $15 a month, $15.99. It may have just went up. I still continue to pay it. And I watch so much stuff on YouTube. Actually, I listen to so much stuff on YouTube. It's worth it to me. We don't do the big satellite TV services and $200 a month stuff. So it makes it's worth it to me to pay a little bit of money here to get all my podcast and everything else and no ads. And the cool thing is that still takes care of your content creator, gets them paid. So they will make all the content you want to watch. It's just the way the whole business works. There's no money. There's no reason for the business to exist. Uh, so Jonathan says make natural pie, pie etherin, uh just for organic garden. It seems to work so well. Spray it every seven days. I thought pyrethrin was a, uh, no, I'm thinking of pymethrin. Mm. That's definitely a chemical. I got to see what pyethrin is. Thanks, Jonathan. I'll, I'll look into that and see what it is. Uh, all right. We'll grab uh, one more and then we'll wrap this thing up. So half pint says, yeah, bifen is good. Safe around pets. Okay. Birds and fish is where you got to be careful. There's okay. a lot of stuff that does affect fish. Definitely don't spray any of that kind of stuff around yeah. water places. And ha he says bison will also kill termites. That's a, that's oh, the main yeah. reason I spray it. It is an excellent termiticide is what I call it. And most of the people that come around here that you hire, that's what they spray. 
All right, so I guess we're going to wrap it up with termiticide. <laughs> That's a great way to end the live stream here. So we're going to go play with the dogs for the sunsets. We've been, we've had so much going on the last few days. I'm exhausted. Oh, your friend Jacob says hi. He's oh, on. Oh, there's Jacob. Hi, Jacob. <laughs> and bye, Jacob. <laughs> go watch the live back. We're wrapping this thing up right now, but it's good to see you, buddy. Um, uh, oh, Dixie says you get a, a cut if you pay for the year. Thank you for mentioning that. I'm all about paying for a year subscription. Oh, if it's eleven ninety nine, I think that's an excellent deal. Thank you for bringing that up. But y'all, happy Easter. Yeah. Thank you so much for spending the last hour with us. We truly do appreciate you. Uh, we will catch you next week. We got some other smorgasbord of content coming this week. Don't forget this month, we start getting into the other big, gigantic parts of the outdoor build. And uh, we'll, we'll be sure to share all that with you. And Yep, the fun stuff. And I guess we'll say, uh, we promised to put up one bad house this week. <laughs> so since I promised, yes, we've got it will be done regardless do if it. it's 10 minutes before the live stream. <laughs> and we Which remember. Which may be. We're like, oh, oh, or live stream is delayed putting up bad house. We'll or be, we can go live now. No, you know, I got the camera plugged in, so we can't go live putting it up. But y'all, happy Easter. Happy yes. Sunday. Thank you so much for spending it with us. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed, safe work week. Good night. Mm -hmm. God bless. We'll catch Good you night. next weekend. Y'all take care. See ya.